probably the most um, compelling data, practice changing data that came out of ASCO was the HER2 climb analysis where tocatinib versus placebo were added to trastuzumab and capecitabine for patients with previously treated HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer. And we previously saw the entire, uh, the results from the entire, pre uh, the entire population presented at San Antonio late 2019. And in this presentation, we saw um, the combination strategy evaluated in the subset of patients with brain metastasis. And previously, they had reported a one-year progression-free survival in this population specifically of 25% for the tocatinib group versus 0% for the um, no tocatinib group, the placebo group. So already a signal from prior presentation that the breast cancer brain metastasis population would um, be um, 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 effectively treated with this combination. So here they presented 209 pa 91 patients with brain metastasis, and they reported a one-year CNS, so central nervous system progression-free survival of 40% versus 0% in the um, placebo group. So a dramatic improvement in progression-free survival within the brain. And a median overall survival of 18 months with ducatinib versus 12 months with the um, placebo and a hazard ratio of 0 0.58 that was statistically significant. Interestingly, these findings were really driven by the patients who had active brain metastasis, so brain metastasis that were progressing or untreated. So it's very exciting to know that we have a systemic therapy that's beneficial, particularly for patients with progressive CNS metastases. And of course, this drug was recently approved by the United States FDA, but we'll be, we'll be especially keen to um, administer it in this specific population 